If you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know that I've made a lot of videos on bad Kickstarter projects like the Air Umbrella, which is an absolute timeless classic, and I've also made a lot of content just on bad products in general, and it's just been far too long since I dipped my tootsies back in this pool of bad Kickstarter projects, and boy do I have a doozy for you today. This is a product that aims to solve a problem that modern science has been unable to crack. How to protect our children on Halloween from those villains that are putting razor blades in our chocolate bars. Halloween is one of the deadliest holidays of the year. There's children dropping left and right, littering the streets with their mangled corpses, all because some bad actors are filling the chocolate bars with razors and pins and needles. And we've been defenseless against this menace for too long now. But luckily, this Kickstarter project has the answer with a metal-detecting Halloween candy bucket. Meet Boo the Ghost, the answer to all your prayers. It's a bucket that has a metal detector built in to alert you when a tampered candy bar comes in with a fucking katana blade mounted inside of it. So, it was unsuccessful in its funding, which is shocking. It only raised $213 out of its 36 k goal, which, you know, just speaks to the state of society. If we're not willing to invest in life-saving life products like this, we're too busy throwing dollar bills on OnlyFans. I mean, this is ridiculous. This would save countless lives on Halloween, and yet it was canceled because it didn't reach its goal. Hi, my name is Sam. We've all heard the horror stories. Holy shit, that stock, royalty-free Facebook background music is about to have me acting up. That shit is fucking hypnotizing. But... Let's talk about this real quick. So, the product aims to solve a problem that doesn't exist. It's a made-up boogeyman. The myth of, like, razor blades in chocolate bars and shit. Razor blades in apples, I think, is where it started back when I was in, like, elementary school with that urban legend of, like, this kid got an apple on Halloween, which, I don't know what psychopath gives out apples on Halloween, and he took a bite and there was a razor blade in it is the story we used to get told. And this actually dates back all the way to the 1950s, where someone even wrote a book on it, and then concludes that they couldn't find a single report of a child killed or seriously injured from a contaminated treat received during trick-or-treating, and it's a contemporary legend, and that's all it is. And if you look at the statistics, from 2008 to 2019, there were four cases of tampering, and none of them resulted in an injury. And among those, I'm pretty sure a couple of them had very sketchy details around it that seemed like it was there to drum up fear and hysteria. A couple of the articles he pulled up, one in particular with the Long Island 13-year-old who got like a razor blade in the Three Musketeers bar or whatever, that one had quite a lot of media hype and stir around it. No one was injured during it. But I have seen a couple of theories to suggest that this may have been planted there as more just fear-mongering. Though, of course, I can't fully state since I wasn't there and I don't know the whole situation. But, once again, there's been no real cases of people tampering with Halloween candy that's led to children getting injured or killed from it. It's just a fucking myth. And also, if we're going to play ball with this whole idea of tampered Halloween candy, Boo the Bucket here is completely defenseless against drugs in the candy. I remember a couple years back there was this big hoopla about, you know, parents, be careful with your kids trick-or-treating on Halloween, there's some scum that's lacing the candy with drugs. And when I read that, I about fell out of my fucking chair. Who's giving away free drugs on Halloween? Are you kidding me? That shit's more expensive than the candy. I highly doubt there was anyone just willy-nilly giving away fucking free drugs in the goddamn trick-or-treat buckets. And if there were, Boo has no protocol to stop that. You know, this fentanyl-laced Hershey's bar is going to fly right under the radar under, under Boo's nose. That's going to be given the green light. No razor blades, no problem. But then all of a sudden, bang, little Jonathan's got a whole fucking system full of fentanyl. And it could have been prevented if Boo only had drug-sniffing protocol as well built into the metal detector. Boo the Ghost Inc. will stand by no further. We've developed and patented a proprietary detection system that picks up on these dangerous contaminants and alerts the user before any harm becomes them. His name is Boo the Ghost. Could you have chosen a more creative name? This is so remarkably lazy. Boo the Ghost? Holy shit. That name has been used billions of times by now. It could have just been anything else. Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, even ghost adjacent. You could have just called them, like... 
you know, Glorbus the ghost. Like, anything at all that's not just Boo for the millionth fucking time. Boo is crafted with a fully integrated, patented detection system. This system consists of a detection coil in the rim that picks up on any metallic objects and uses a vibrating handle with a built-in LED light to alert your child when they are in potential danger. It's pretty simple. It's a metal detector built into the rim, so when something metal passes through it, it has sirens that blare. You know, be careful, metal presence, initiating self-destruct protocol to protect the child, that kind of thing. It, except instead of sirens, it just plays like a really weird honking sound. So, that's that's basically the system in a nutshell. Pass through a metal detector, if there's metal, you get a honk. So that your child knows when there is a hazardous object present and that a thorough inspection of the candy should be conducted to eliminate the hazardous pin, needle, razor, or metal debris. So you get the little happy birthday kazoo sound effect there when the metal passes through. And I'd like to digest that for a moment here. Let's assume you have this bucket, you get a handful of candy, you dump it in, you hear a honk. Well, now all of a sudden you have no idea which candy triggered it, so you have to go through each and every piece of individual candy and ruin every single one of them. No one's putting candy in one by one. That's not happening. This isn't the TSA. It's fucking Halloween, and these are kids just reaching in the buckets or parents taking a handful of candy and dumping it into their bucket. Like, this is this would never be practical, because if a honk did go off, you would then have to open every single piece of candy. And you then probably want to do it in front of the house where this honk happened, because maybe they put a razor blade in there, and now you're about to get into a confrontation with this with this family here. So you have to break every single piece of candy apart to see which one triggered it. And that just seems really ineffective. There's no way of knowing which one it was unless you literally do it one by one, which isn't happening. Right now, it picks up on all metal objects that pass through the rim of the container. As you can see, when a detection is made, the handle vibrates, making your child aware of the danger. Again, this aims to solve a problem that is completely non-existent and is just made up. But, you know, hats off to him for, you know, trying to tackle it. I always appreciate when someone at least tries to make something that they think will be helpful somewhere. But in this case, I think it's remarkably misguided. I, I think they have been brainwashed by media fear. And even then, this is so rare. Like, it's it's fine to, like, caution parents, like, hey, there are weird people on Halloween. You should probably trick-or-treat with your kids instead of letting them go all, you know, out in their own willy-nilly. I think that's good advice. Hey, just be with your kids, you know. When they're going out to trick-or-treat, you should just be with them. I think that's fine advice. That's not exactly like being fearful or anything. It's just, why not? Just take that safety measure. I think that's fine. But to try and put the fear of God in everyone, like, you need to be with your kids because there's people putting fucking razor blades and drugs in the candy. Like, then it's a step too far, and then you lead to a situation like this where this guy thinks that, man, I, I have to protect my kids on Halloween because no one else is. There's razor blades in every piece of fucking candy out there, I guess, and this is an essential tool for it. But anyway, just wanted to talk about this a little bit because I found it to be pretty wacky. That's really about it. See ya.